Thank you for choosing our Lighthouse Transaction Manager Payment Gateway and welcome to the Shift 4 Payments family. We have a straightforward setup, installation, and training process to provide you with the information and support you need to successfully leverage our solution and begin enjoying an improved integration, comprehensive auditing, fraud reduction, highest security, proven reliability, world-class support, and countless other benefits. In this video, we will be reviewing how to log into Lighthouse Transaction Manager, a brief overview of features that will be available to you, administrative features, as well as auditing features. To access Lighthouse Transaction Manager, navigate to www.shift4.com. In the upper right-hand corner, select Account Login. You will be prompted to enter your account number, username, and password. Select Login, and you will be prompted to change your password and set up security questions. Once set up, you will be led to the Lighthouse Transaction Manager homepage. This is an auditing software that will allow you to view and edit batches before submitting them to the processor. Among other things, you can also view archived batches, transaction lookup, and process an online transaction. On this screen, you will have transactions, settings, user, and help available to you. First, we'll review the Transactions tab. When selected, Merchants View will allow you to view all of your current or archived transactions. In order to view all of your transactions, ensure that the appropriate options are checked off. If only some of these options are selected, you might miss a few transactions that are included in the batch. You do not need to select duplicates only, modified only, referrals only, or errors only. If enabled, you will also be able to view the transaction grid. On this page, you'll also be able to enter transactions using the online or offline entry option. The second tab we will review is Settings. Settings allows you to find all of your account setting options for Lighthouse Transaction Manager, such as general settings, security settings, IP address restrictions, API settings, auto settle settings, backups, debit device settings, EMV devices, export configuration, and page timeout test. The next tab we'll review is the User tab. Under this menu option is where you can create new users, edit current users, create user shifts, view user activity, change your profile, and change your password. The last tab, Help, will provide access to Lighthouse Transaction Manager Help, where a number of task-based guides and video tutorials can assist you. The information is listed under various categories with a short description and list of covered topics. Now we'll get into some of the admin features. The first feature we will view is under Settings tab. Under Settings, you will have security settings available. This will allow you to manage security rules, standards, and policies that are enforced in Lighthouse Transaction Manager. These settings affect users' access such as password definition, login attempts, and lockout duration. Please note the multi-factor authentication. This will allow you to set up an additional authentication method outside of the username and password. General settings is the next feature we will review. This will allow you to manage settings to prevent suspicious activity and fraudulent transactions. The next feature under general settings will be token store settings. This will manage how long Lighthouse Transaction Manager will hold onto the tokens generated and if they can be shared with other accounts. We recommend the sensitive authentication data to be set for 96 hours, token storage duration set to card expiration, and token usage set to multi-use. Under token store settings, you will find miscellaneous account settings. This will allow the admin user to add additional fields for online offline entry. This will also allow the admin to turn on totals for terminal IDs. We recommend enabling use terminal ID and user terminal ID subtotals. If applicable, you can enable API Settings Access Token and ATO Settle Settings. The last admin feature we'll review is User. User maintenance will allow the administrator to add, edit, and delete users for Lighthouse Transaction Manager, as well as manage the settings for individual users. Next, we'll cover some of the auditing features that are available to you. The first feature we'll cover is Transactions. Current transactions are transactions that have not been submitted to the processor and have not been funded, whereas archived transactions are transactions that have been submitted to the processor. Archived transactions are saved in Lighthouse Transaction Manager for up to two years. Under Transactions, you will also have Archived Batch Reports. This will allow you to view submitted batches, as well as viewing the status of the batch. If the batch is successful, it will display a green box and the notes will say OK. 
batch is suspended, it will display a red box and the status notes will say suspended. A batch can be suspended for multiple reasons, such as communication issues during submittal or the batch rejects. Please contact support when a batch is suspended for further clarification. It is recommended that you always confirm the totals between Lighthouse Transaction Manager and the POS PMS reports and processor statements. Please also look out for problem transactions. Lastly, it's in good practice to verify the batch submittal is successful by going into Archive Batches. If you do need additional help, you'll be able to navigate to the Help tab. This will provide you with Lighthouse Transaction Manager help, where numerous guides and videos are available to you to assist you in answering any questions or concerns. You'll also be able to contact us by selecting About under the Help tab. Here we provide you with different email addresses that will be able to provide you with the best support. Please be sure to send your request to the proper email address to ensure that we can assist you efficiently and effectively. We hope you found this video information useful. Thank you for watching.